These Harvard scientists think we'll have to socially distance until 2022. Brock for Yahweh, Brock for Yahweh Shai, Brock for Yahweh, Brock for Yahweh Shai, Brock for Yahweh, Brock for Yahweh Shai. All praise, honor, and infinite glory goes to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God, and Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. The nation of Israel consists of you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. If you do not look like a typical black, Hispanic, or Native American, you can still be an Israelite, right? If your spirit bears witness, it's evidence because you're drawn to this 100% word, this doctrine. You believe in it right through faith. The 100% doctrine comes from the camp of Great Millstone. I'm the brothers of Carr from the Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp in Philadelphia, PA. And to the spirit, the topic of this video is going to be from an article from World Economic Forum, all right? And it reads, these Harvard scientists think we'll have to socially distance until 2022, okay? So of course, from the coronavirus pandemic, you have Harvard scientists make putting out claims and doing tests and doing putting out their um perspective of when this when how america is gonna be in 2022 okay that we're gonna still that this quarantine social distancing all these regulations is still gonna be in effect all right and through the spirit you have people already protesting all right, in a bunch of states, all right, wanting this stay in home order to end so it can see, so they can go back to their jobs, okay, because they're not, they're not uh, um, with what the government's pushing forth, these governors, these mayors, all right. So let me read some of this article and get some videos and get some precepts from the Bible, basically, um, showing that. Race riots are going to pop up eventually because you got people, these Americans, so-called Caucasians, Edomites, according to the Bible. You had them going up, rebelling, all right, and protesting against their own government, America. And this is supposed to be their country, the land of the free. And you had them protesting against their governor or their orders for their states, all right? So is this really the land of the free, the best country ever established? No, it's all the most size. It's the, mo the most size that can destroy America off the face of the earth. Because America is the most wickedest country ever established. The wickedest kingdom ever established. From the rape, rob, and murder of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. Okay. So it says, not enough is known about COVID-19 to predict its future course. There is strong risk that a second spike in infections could overwhelm healthcare systems once lockdowns are lifted. Some form of distancing restrictions could be required for more than a year, say experts. People across the globe have been forced to adapt quickly to the social distancing brought about by the coronavirus pandemic. But while the world might be eager for relaxation of rules, the restrictions might be around for some time to come. It says, in fact, According to a group of Harvard disease experts, some form of intermittent social distancing may need may need to be in place until 2022. And the way these Americans act, these Edomites, so-called Caucasians, if it's gonna last till 2022, through the spirit, race riots are gonna pop off in America. But someone's gonna go insane, being isolated and quarantined, not be able to go to work. Because these Edomites, they don't have a strong tolerance for suffering and being at the bottom. So-called Black Hispanics and Native Americans, where we can endure suffering, all right, better than these Edomites, okay? So these Edomites are not ready for what's about to come to them. What's about to come to America, their precious country? Because America's going to fall because it's Babylon the Great, according to the scriptures. That's because once the initial wave of COVID-19 infections has passed, further outbreaks could occur. So more outbreaks could occur. Okay. 
potentially. And more out, Slaki, more outbreaks are going to occur. That's worse than coronavirus, all right? Diseases, pandemics, whatever you want to call it, okay? Pestilence, whatever you want to call it. It's going to keep continuing. It's not going to get better. If lockdown restrictions are lifted at the same time, instead of in instead of in coordinated phases, a surge in new cases could overwhelm healthcare systems. All right, so let's get this video of how people, these Americans, how they're dealing with the current state of their country staying during this lockdown. And this is just, coronavirus has been around allegedly about four months, okay? As of 2020, year of Karagma, Saki, year of prophecy, deemed by Apostle Tahar. So the coronavirus has been around for about four months, and you have people already doing this, just like in the government shutdown in 2019. You got these Americans doing what they was protesting, thinking the government's going to change their mind and stop their new world order, which is, which is inevitable. To have everyone in chaos, to bring in order, order out of chaos, that's their plan. You have a lot of average day people just finding out that these just are now they're all into conspiracy theories due to this coronavirus outbreak. But you Americans are right. Your hope will cease because these elites are going to come down with wrath and show you that they're not for the average day peon. They're not for your average day peons. Because elites are sitting back just enjoying their the fruits of their own wicked society. Okay? Enjoying their wealth. Elites, I'm talking about shadow government, so-called Illuminati, Rothschilds, Rockefellers, DuPonts, elite banking families. Okay? So, COVID-19, the people versus the lockdown. sovereign rights and uh, we're just here to show and support that every time there's a crisis the government uses that to pump up their authority and try to take away your rights just because there's a crisis you don't lose your rights otherwise you never really had any to begin with we have to send a message clearly this is hysteria they need to reopen our economy right now People are going to get sick, and it's unfortunate. And I'm not trying to downplay sickness. It's just that, unfortunately, uh, people die. That's called uh, living. Uh, you're, we're all going to, we're not going to make it out alive. Whether I stay home or I go out, you can still die no matter what you do. So, I'm not an adrenaline junkie, but I don't want to be told to stay home. Now, I have an immune system. I take my immune support. And that's it. I'm not guaranteed tomorrow, no matter what. I have three businesses in Idaho that are closed right now because they're deemed not essential. I had to lay off all of my staff. I don't know that my business will survive to open in two weeks. We're losing our constitutional rights, and we are falling under a dictatorship, and that's not correct. The numbers are false. You have... You know, a one percent chance of, of dying. You have a, a larger percentage of dying of something else, but that's life. You know, we can't continue to live in fear. Every time you get in the car to go to work, you have a chance of dying. Every time you go, walk outside of your front door, you have a chance of dying. See, so these people are against this lockdown, for real. Okay, they're against it. You can't live your life sheltered because you're afraid of something okay all these different states it's gonna keep continuing all right it's not gonna stop at these states before of course the elites bring down martial law okay which is eventually gonna come to america Governor Sisson, 
Cadillac is responsible for the shutdown of the economy in Nevada. Period. We're a tourism-based economy, and he effectively shut it down, putting at least one out of ten Nevadans out of work. It's unacceptable. This isn't communism or socialism or fascism. We are not a totalitarian society. We are a constitutional republic. Our government is one of the few that is based on a constitution which protects the people from government instead of the government from people. Now I have my money taken away from me because they want to send people $1,200 a person a check. I have friends and neighbors that own these businesses. They're dying. They're dying. There's a lot of businesses that will not be able to reopen. Okay? People without jobs. People going on in unemployment. People losing their life savings over this. I think the government has overstepped. We have rights. Um, we have a personal responsibility for our health. And I don't need them to tell us how to do it. And I think it's just a shame that we can't make those choices for ourselves. The only way to get America going and Minnesota going again is to allow us to actually go back to work. And the longer we stay out of work, the more suicides you're going to get and the more unhealthy human beings are actually going to be. You see, he said the more suicides and the more unhealthy human beings are actually going to be. But the elites do not care about you average day Americans. You are their slaves. When you go to your blue collar jobs, all right? That's you being in slavery. You just don't realize it. You just don't have physical chains on you. But you eat you're going to realize that your own people, okay, so-called Caucasians, all right? You're, they're not all for you. The rich elite, the 1%, they're not all for you. It's going to be a shock in your face, okay? And of course, the God of Israel, the Most High, is not for you. You're going to captivity along with you other heathen nations outside the nation of Israel. And two-thirds of the nation of Israel, so-called black Spanish and the Americans, you will be destroyed for your wickedness. Because all this coronavirus, this lockdown, everything that's going around, around in this world is all the Most High's plan. It's all the God of Israel's will, his movie. Okay, and you people are just his pawns. Okay, so next video. All right, my body, my choice. Open Ohio now. Now, you think this girl screaming, saying open Ohio now is gonna get people, is gonna get the elites? To change their mind of the new world order? Hell no. Your new world order is going to take place. Them wiping out billions of people. Okay. Trying to keep the population under 500 million. Which is on the Georgia Guidestones. That's their plan. Okay. So if the coronavirus is a biological weapon or not. That they produced on purpose. It still doesn't matter because the God of Israel sent it. It's going to be a domino effect of bad things that happen in America. Because that's prophecy. That's biblical prophecy. Okay? Of pestilences, plagues, martial law, cannibalism, race riots. And from all these protests, social distancing to 2022, I think a lot of people are not going to... Of course, these, these Americans are not with it now. So 2022, how's things gonna be in America? 2022. Open Ohio! Yeah! Protesting um, infringements on freedom of religion, um, a lot of our rights that have just been compromised by the state of
protests out there, and uh, I, I just think that some of the governors have gotten carried away. I really believe somebody sitting in their boat in a lake should be okay. They shouldn't arrest people. Some of them are being unreasonable. I really believe that. You see? So you got Trump against some of these governors. The same nation of Pedum, Slakia, the same nation, all right, Edom, all right, Caucasians. You got Trump against these governors. That's a kingdom divided. You got Democrats against Republicans. Not all you Edomites are on the same accord. So what's up? All right. What happened to the precious great America that everyone wanted to flock to? Now America's crumbling because the Mossad is taking the mirth and spirit out of this place and, and bringing death and sorrow and destruction to this place. As a punishment to the wicked. There's a lot of wicked people on this planet. So the Most High has to do it. To put a lot of people to death. Through vast amounts of plagues. See, and you have Edomites who are prepared for preparing themselves for the race riots to pop off. All these so-called Caucasians with these guns or masks on. This is not a coincidence. It's not like they're just training, going to the gun rage for no reason. Because other chaos is going to break loose in America. So if you're listening to this for the first time, all right, and if you're an Israelite drawn to the 100% doctrine from Great Millstone, and you want protection from the calamity that's about to come. You're supposed to seek the Most High, the God of Israel. His name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. Because a lot of terrible things are going to come to this place due to his wickedness. Because the way it was established, it was established with rape, rob, and murdering of a people, the enslavement of people. So the way it's going to go out is going to be even worse than how it was established. It's going to be a time like never before seen, Jacob's trouble. The least are to come down the nation of Israel, so called black space Native Americans, with trouble. All right? There's going to be trouble for you, black space Native Americans, majority of you. And of course, for the elect, we're going to go through a lot of tribulation. But we have to trust in the Most High through all of this. Trust, that's faith. Okay? Confidence and belief. And how are you going to build that confidence? By what you do now during this grace period. Because the Lord, Yahweh Shai, died for the elect of the nation Israel. Okay? All of Israel, but first and foremost, the elect. Okay? So they can be saved. So they can be covered. So you're supposed to acknowledge the, the Lord's sacrifice and try to be right during these times. Repent and change your mind and cleave to the God of Israel and follow his ways. Because all these guys preparing is not for no reason. There's going to be a vast amounts of race riots popping off in America. And there's going to be animals breaking out zoos, demons, 
all right, what the world called the Loch Ness Monster, Sea Monster, which is Leviathan, which is in the Bible, okay, he's going to be unleashed. There's going to be a lot of strange things happening in America and our parts of the globe, okay? You, 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 the only protection is the most high with you. No other, nothing else. You can't doomsday prep for this. You can't get currently ready training, fighting, fighting, just practicing. You can't go to gun range and train. You can't do nothing. Okay. All right. Got one more video of Trump, all right, talking about he has total power, all right, being the president. Okay. Quick one. I'm going to put it very simply. The president of the United States has the authority to do what the president has the authority to do, which is very powerful. The president of the United States calls the shots. If we weren't here for the states, you would have had a problem in this country like you've never seen before. We were here to back them up, and we back, we've back we more than backed them up. We did a job that nobody ever thought was possible. It's a decision for the President of the United States. Now, with that being said, we're going to work with the states because it's very important. You have local governments. They're pinpointed. It's really, you talk about, it's a, like a microchip. They're pinpointed. We have local government that hopefully will do a good job. And if they don't do a good job, I'd step in so fast. But no, they can't do anything without the approval of the president. The United States. The president's authority. Not mine, because it's not me. This is when somebody's the president of the United States, the authority is total. And that's the way it's got to be. See what he said? The authority is total. So Trump is in a more dictator mindset. Okay? Just blatantly saying the authority is total. When it's not. Okay? You got the whole checks and balances system, right? But Trump is just flat out saying it's total, okay? So, of course, through a national emergency, Trump gains more power. The president gains more power than he usually does, okay? So that's the president for you Americans, right? Repping, talking, just claiming being a dictator, all right? And that's all you, that's what you Americans fear, are right, a dictator, okay, ruling your country in a totalitarian, tot, like you, total, what's the word? Totalitarianism um, format, okay? Just divine, um, just strict rules and the people don't matter at all, democracy's out the window, okay? That's what you Americans fear. And of course, most of you how about me on can of course have that happen. And martial law will happen no matter what. And World War Three will happen no matter what. And America will lose World War Three and get obliterated by ISBN nuclear missiles no matter what. It will be a lake of fire no matter what. So that's what's coming for you. America, the land of the free. Okay. Now you have a couple of bands of, of excuse me, excuse me. You have a couple. You have a couple of bands of, uh, of Democrat governors, but they will agree to it. They will agree to it. But uh, the authority of the president of the United States having to do with the subject we're talking about is total. A quick question on something you just said. You said when someone is president of the United States, their authority is total. That is not true. Who? who okay. Told you know what we're gonna do? We're going to write up the papers on this. It's not going to be necessary because the governors need us one way or the other because ultimately it comes with the federal government. That being said, we're getting along very well with the governors, and I feel very certain that uh, there won't be a problem. Yeah, please, go ahead. Has any governor agreed that you have the authority to decide when their state is I haven't asked anybody. Because I don't, you know it? why? Because I don't have to. Go ahead, please. You see how he's acting? Okay. The president has the total authority. Enough. All right, so that's you, Americans, president right there, Trump, okay?
Of course, he can be the man to just start a lot of prophecies to roll off. He can be the man to have America utterly destroyed by these different countries, Iran, Japan, okay, Russia. He can have World War III kick off, which is a major prophecy in the Bible. So social distancing continuing to 2022. The way things are looking for these average day Americans, how they feel about being locked down in quarantine, looks like things will get real bad real soon. So Jacob's trouble is very near. This is dictator definition on Google. It reads, a ruler with total power over a country, typically one who has obtained control by force. A person who behaves in an autocratic way. All right, so a ruler with total power over a country. Okay. So Trump, all right, could very well be that man who start a lot of things to get rolling in this place known as America. Okay. Chaos. And Trump is just a puppet for the elites because the elites have total control over this system. All right. The earth is given to the hands of the wicked. Job 9, 24. Right. The Trump, Bill Gates. All right. They're puppets for the elites. All right. They're puppets. Just guys the elites use as vessels to push out their agenda in whatever way and fashion they want to. Okay. The elites are really the wicked rulers of this society elite banking family elite banking families all right so this is matthew chapter 3 and verse 24 and if a kingdom be divided against itself the kingdom cannot stand in america is divided against itself all right you have trump not agreeing with what the governors are doing all right with all these um the way these rules are being pushed out for these common people we have Democrats, Democrats, of course, against Republicans. Okay. And you have all these. Um, and you, of course, you have as a nation of Edom, as a whole, so-called Caucasians, you have Russia against America. Right. They're supposed to be the same people. Right. So-called Caucasians. And you have Russia not with the agenda America's on. And World War Three is going to be inevitable. It's just going to be inevitable. It's just going to be manifest. It's not here yet, but it will come. So a kingdom being divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. So America's falling. It is falling. It's just evident. You Americans can try to protest all you want. It's still going to fall. Because it's the most high's work. You can't bend the most high's will. You cannot do that. This is Second Ezra, chapter 15, and verse 15. For the sword and the destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. So race rights is inevitable, okay? The modern-day sword is the gun, okay? So people fighting, right, shooting at each other with guns, Sorrow, pain, agony, death, bloodshed, that's coming. One people against another, race rights. Okay, so-called blacks against so-called whites. All right, Hispanics against so-called whites. Okay. You got a lot of Asian Americans facing discrimination all of a sudden. So that's brewing up. If you do not see this is happening, all right, then, then, just like the saying goes, you're, you're living under a rock because things are evident right now that this place is falling. For there shall be sedition among men, sedition, and I'm online. The word sedition, it reads rebellion, uprising, revolt. Consider attempt to overthrow civil authority, violent strife. Between factions, civil or religious disorder, riot, rebelliousness against authority. So all these definitions are, all these words are good. But the key, of course, riot and rebelliousness against authority, right? Violent strife between factions, uprising, revolt. Okay, that's what's coming. There shall be sedition among men, invading one another, 
They shall not regard their kings nor princes. You see? They shall not regard their kings nor princes. Okay? And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Okay? So someone desiring to go into a city or not able to. Okay? That's martial law. All right? The military having extreme rule over you people. Okay? For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and their spirit. And spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. This is Matthew chapter 24 and verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation. So these are signs that we would be living in the that were that indicate the last days being now. Okay. Signs the Lord, who the world called Jesus Christ, gave his disciples to indicate when will be his coming. To restore the nation of Israel on top and bring the kingdom of heaven. So these are signs. And these signs are happening today. Let's read. For nation shall rise against nation. According to the Bible, there's 18 nations. So a nation rising against a nation. What is that? Okay. Nation rising against a nation. That's a race riot. That's one nation against another. Trying to rise up and fight another. Trying to rise up in power. Okay, that's race riots, kingdom against kingdom, all right? So that's a government, a major government superpower against another major government superpower, a kingdom against a kingdom, Russia versus U.S., Iran versus the U.S., Japan versus the U.S., China versus the U.S., India versus the U.S., okay? World War Three. there shall be famines and pestilences. So pestilences, basically plagues, okay, disease. And right now, it's the coronavirus, okay, which is running rampant. So we're living in the last days, and earthquakes in diverse places, all these are the beginning of sorrow. So this is just the beginning, these people, the way they're protesting. This is just the beginning. So how are these people going to act when things get more harsh? They're not built for what's about to come, these Edomites. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. So none is like it. The time that's about to come to this earth, it can't be compared to another time. It says none is like it. So the flood, which happened, which is Bible history, okay? It's going to be worse than the flood. It's going to be worse than the transatlantic slave trade. It's going to be worse during the plagues of Egypt, okay? It's going to be worse than... Christopher Columbus slaughtering a lot of Native Americans. Conquistador slaughtering a lot of Hispanics. It's going to be worse than these major, severe periods of this world. Because this is the climax of the Most High's movie. So it's going to be very intense and bad. It's going to be evil times. Okay? And of course, how the elect can be protected is all the Most High. Okay? Because we can't save ourselves from what's about to come. We need to hedge in protection from the Most High, Yahabash Shai. So seek the Lord now while he may be found. Repent to the God of Israel. And follow his laws, such the commandments of the Bible to the best of your ability. It says, the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Okay? And that he is the elect, of course, shall be saved out of it. But for you Edomites, YOLO definition. YOLO is the acronym of the phrase, you only live once, okay? You only live once. And that's what a lot of Edomites think. So they're living in the moment, just like these spring breakers, all right? During this coronavirus pandemic, we're talking about, well, we have to live in the moment. If I get corona, I get corona, all right? It's not going to stop me from partying. What a simple mind frame, okay? But they're Edomites, talking about well i don't well you can't just be afraid of everything you just need to keep on going all right you have to keep on doing what you have to do all right everyone dies at the end of the day so talk about how they don't fear uh i don't fear if i get sick all right so yolo fine all right just do what you gotta do for as a nation of edom so-called caucasians all right because this is not for you 
right? You're going to go into extreme hardcore bondage, captivity under the nation of Israel for a thousand long years. This is Lamentations chapter 4 and verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. So rejoice and be glad. Because this is the last. Your kingdom's almost finished. Okay. So just hang on tight and just, just enjoy it while it lasts for you wicked Edomites. Okay. That's the mind frame you should be in. Not protesting and trying to um, get yourself all wild up. All right. You should be enjoying America as the, as it's getting drained, getting, um, America's getting, basically America's getting flushed down the toilet, all right? It's circling the drain, so just enjoy it while it lasts for you Edomites. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. So the nation of Israel, our punishment's almost done, all right? Of course, the elect has to endure to the end, okay? And the two-thirds need to utterly be put to death. But the punishment of Zion, Israel being put into captivity after captivity after captivity. This is our last captivity in America. Okay. So it's almost finished. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. Okay. So back to the point. All right. More of the story, these Harvard scientists think we'll have to socially distance until 2022. The way things are looking, all right, if this is going to go on till 2022, people social distancing, a lot of states in quarantine, these Americans are going to be fed up and riot, okay? These Americans are going to be not, they're not going to be better than how they are now if this is going to keep going to 2022, right? Because the way these peons are, the way their, um, the way their current state is now, it's just gonna get worse. So, race riots can pop off at any time. All right, of course, so-called black Spanish and the Americans, specifically the tribe of Judah, all right, just throwing down. Okay, so-called Negroes. All right. So, Lord willing, this video is edifying. All praise, honor, and infinite glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, or Kakadash. Other parent clan that goes to America, and Shalom goes to the elect of the nation of Israel, Yasharalo. Shalom.